It's time for the Grateful Gourmet's Holiday Show. Brought to you by Big Grow Lights. Hang them on your tree. And by Cotton Mouth Cotton. It's really dry. And now, here are your hosts, Rolf and Cinda. Well, who are all these people? Well, I don't know. Whoa. Who, who, who are they? I don't know who they are. They happen to be the audience. What? They're the audience for your little show that you're going to do here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Hi, welcome to the Grateful Gourmet Holiday Show. I'm Rolf. With me, as always, is Cinda. Um, hey, you know how when Jesus was born, they wrapped him in swaddling clothes? Yeah. Well, um, do you think maybe the swaddling stuff was like, you know, tie-dyed? Probably, yeah. That's cool. Also joining us today is the Grateful Gourmet Holiday Singers. <laughs> They'll be singing for us later on in the show. First, I know everyone out there is freaking out because the dead are breaking up, but that does not mean that our lives have to change in any way. Therefore, we here at the Grateful Gourmet promise to continue to show up every week in order to bring you important cooking tips. <laughs> what, what's so funny? Uh, tips spelled backwards is spit. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> anyway, here's Tad with a delicious holiday recipe spit. I mean, tip. Hi, I'm Tad, and today's delicious holiday recipe spit is mushroom tea. Here's how you make it. Step one, preheat oven to 350 degrees. Two, get into your car and drive up to Billingham and go to that field. You know the one? Yeah. It's the, it's the one with the cows. Uh, but you've got to be real quiet, because the guy who lives there, he, he gets pretty uptight. <laughs> Three, pick a bunch of mushrooms. Four, get back into your car and drive home. Five, bake the mushrooms in your preheated oven until really dried up. Six, steep the mushrooms in hot water. Seven, serve. Eight, eat. Nine, it. Ten, Rolf. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Tad. <laughs> By the way, delicious holiday mushroom tea is the official mascot of Evergreen State College. <laughs> we, we have a phone call? Cool, cool, you're on the Grateful Gourmet's Holiday Show. Yeah, uh, you know those hostess ho-hos? Yeah? Well, like, what's the rule with them? I mean, are you, you supposed to unroll them and eat them, or are you supposed to, like, not unroll them and eat them? Okay, excellent question. I, I took this class up at Western called the Behavior Study of Ho-Ho Eating. It turns out that when it comes to Ho-Ho Eating, there's really no rules. You just got to be in the moment and trust your instincts. Thanks, man. That really helps. Sure, dude. No problem. All right. It's time now for a visit with the Grateful Gourmet Holiday Singers. Angels we have heard while high. <laughs> Whoa, that was inspiring. That was really cool. <laughs> okay, now Cinda's going to show us a really cool new way to get sunflower seeds out of their shells. Well, um, I kind of forgot to buy the sunflower seeds. Oh, bummer. But um, I, I did get this. Whoa, a tree. I love those I don't do what it smells. Oh, <laughs> oh cool. Let me, uh, let me get this straight. You forgot to get the sunflower seeds, but you did remember to get a tree freshener. Yeah, because it can be like our Christmas tree. <laughs> I need a sedative. You really shouldn't take drugs, you know? Oh. Oh, really? Is that right? Yeah, because they can really screw your up brain. They, your brain screw it. Up. They can really brain... Yeah, well, thanks for the tip. What, what, what spit? Never mind! Okay, you need a holiday hug. No, I don't. 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 